Hi how are we? What we're going up to in this video? We're going to be removing the front fairing and checking and cleaning as much stuff under the plastic as we can. So let's get on with it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take these black plastic trims off and there is one bolt just there, one bolt inside there and one bolt underneath there. So we'll do this one first. Then we'll do this one underneath here. So and it looks like it is falling off already, so there must only be two bolts. Oh. So it looks like the third fixing should go into there, but it's obviously broken out. Yes, that fixing goes into there, and it's still sticking out there. So let me whip the other one off, and then we'll start on the screen. Okay, so the screen just has one, two, three, four. Again, they're all Allen keys. Okay, now we've got the screen off, we can see there is two ginormous bolts at the front. And again, those look like Allen keys, so let's crack those on them. There's the tougher one. Okay, so there's two more bolts on this side. They're also the ginormous bolts. And then there's one this side. There we go. Okay, so now hopefully the screen come off. Like so. Yes, we can see all the horrible cobwebs. The wiring doesn't look like it's been chopped about, so that's one good thing. Just got to tidy these indicators, wires up, get rid of all the cobwebs. Oh yes, I'm not forgetting the weird wiring, what's going on with the awn. We need to tidy that up as well.
Okay, so that looks a bit cleaner inside there. All the cobwebs gone. Uh, when I've had the bike running for a while, this is the heated grip switch. But the heated grips are on all the time, no matter where you put the switch. So I've just pulled the wires off. And uh, put a little zip tie around them and stuck them up there. I have tried taking the fuse out, which does work, but also the clock doesn't work. And it's nice to have a clock, so... So that's the old working. If I press the button at the handlebars, put the ignition on first, press the button. Yes. But uh, I have found another problem that I've got to sort out. Put this indicator on. Don't know if you can see there, but it's not flashing on all the LEDs. Some of the LEDs are dead, so we've got to change that indicator. Let's just check the other indicator as well. Uh, that one's... Uh, I think it has got one dead LED up there. Uh, hopefully I've got some uh, LED indicators in one of my drawers. OK then, this is my drawer of tricks. This is the old indicator that's not working. Well, it is working, but not on all the LEDs. Uh, we've got that one. We could try that one. Uh, we've got a matching one. Got all these, but they're not LED. Uh, there's another one. That is the matching one, I think. but they're for like going on the side so they won't do. We've got to be a frontal. Ah, yes, I thought I had some of these. Got some of these as well. What the way the other one is. Should be another one of those somewhere. Anyway, whatever I fit, it is just temporary, just uh, to get this thing through the MOT and then we can do things as we go along. Yes, I've tried these indicators, but they're just the same. They've got uh, LEDs that aren't working, so they don't look very good whatsoever. So I'm going with these, which seem to work OK. I did find the other one. So let me stick them on. And I'll be back in a flash. And there they are. That's the left one. And that's the right one. Right, now we can get the front fairing back on. Yeah, just cut that little bit of a cable tie off. See how hard it's going to be to get this back on. Well, not as easy as you thought. That's it. That's it. Perfect. Let's get all the bolts back in. Okay, so we'll try these two first. Slip it out. Right, then we can try the left bolt. Bit dark up there, I know. Better. Well, that's that one tightened up. Just stay on this side to see me keep moving the camera about. 
the box, see if it makes it any better. Not that you can see what I'm doing. Just starting in the top two bolts. Is that any better? That's better. Under there, and I bolt it up with it. Do for that one. I'll do for that one. Now we can put the screen back on. Okay, so we've got the other indicator on down there. Let's put the screen on. Stay. Pitch the bolts up. Wood. Two. Three. All these little chips. I've actually got the uh, paint colour. I've actually got the blue triumph colour on the touch up, so I will be touching all these up in the summer. Right, what next? So going back to uh, getting this bike on the main stand, which did prove very difficult in the end, but we got there. I do believe this bike has been lowered because those should be flush with the top yoke. It's had a fairly new shock in the back. And as you can probably see, the back wheel about 100 foot off the ground and that is why we could not get it on the stand because at this bike's present height that axle stand is too big too long we could deal with taking a section out and welding back up I suppose but that's a bit to worry about in the future as some of you guys will probably already know who's been following the uh, Triumph Tiger project I've been having a lot of trouble trying to get this onto the stand and uh, even me and the wife have tried to pull it onto the main stand with no success. That is, until I did this. But what we had to do in the end was go find my rear paddock stand and work out how to fix it to this. That we had it on the main paddock stand and then it was still a job to lift it on 
to the main stand, but we did it on the second attempt. That looks a bit, bit rubbish as well, doesn't it? We'll have to be changing that as well. And all you CBR 1000F landfill bike brothers, don't worry. I'll be giving an update very soon. And if anybody can tell me what's going on with my temperature gauge when I rip my engine. And I do actually believe the engine is overeating. Please drop me a comment down below and I'll be very grateful. Right then, so I think in the next video or at least the video after that, we will be taking this for an MOT and hopefully getting a PAWS. So thanks for watching. Thank you to my ATA. I love you, man. Thanks for all the interactions. So on that note, I see you in another life, brother. Have a very, very Merry Christmas, and I'll see you next year.